Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asmarant and this is not 49ers news, this is NFL news. Now, before I start NFL news, one, I've had an haircut. Feels better. Two, if you're new, subscribe. If you're here and you're listening, put your notification bell on for the 30th of July, the last day of the month. I have a big announcement video coming up and um, I'll put it as my prime ready to watch scheduled everything so you guys can watch them ready yes um keep an eye out for that it's a biggie for what i will be doing from august to february so keep an eye out on that but other than that let's get to nfl news and well this one is unbelievable here we are we are on profootballtalk.nbcsports.com and it is unreal report rick uh, Deminison out as Vikings assistant coach after refusing COVID-19 vaccine. All right. Vikings assistant coach Rick Den has reported he'd lost his job because he refused to get COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, Denson, who had been the Vikings offensive line coach run game coordinator the past two seasons, parted ways with the team according to County Corrin of ESPN. Uh, the report does not specify call um, Rick's departure, a firing, although that's what it se sounds like. When NFL was crying to tier one staff, the, uh, the people in the closet contact with, uh, with players, such as coaches and equipment managers, to get vaccinated. Players can't be forced to get vaccinated. The Vikings are promoting assistant offensive line coach Phil or, or Russia to fill um, to fill Rick's uh, position and adding former at uh, Auburn assistant coach Ben Steele to take Russia's position. Uh, Rick is a 27 year old veteran of NFL coaching mental and I mean seriously mental and this is what I'm saying about politics you shouldn't have the right the fucking right to sit there and say look listen I'm not getting vaccinated done deal that's it how do you know that other people have been vaccinated and have got COVID because in London us in England the cases are going up. I mean, if you look at the chart, the COVID-19 chart, or whatever it is, you look it up, it's crazy. Absolutely nuts. I, I think it's more than, like, or at least, or more, 100,000 cases of COVID. Very, very less in deaths. Uh, which makes no sense anyway. People have died, of, you know what I mean? Thoughts go out to family and friends. But it's crazy how we've got more than 100,000 cases in London, in England, sorry, yet we're still walking about like Freedom Day, like we wear the mask on uh, transport, but that's it, or the odd shop, but nothing major, that, that's what it's come down to. Um, yeah, mental, what the Vikings are going to do, I've heard of that another one from below, He's gone, you step up. What's a step up from there? I mean, Vikings have played a good few years. Very, very, very good. They've been in playoffs, like, a lot. And they've done very, very well. But they, they need to be, be prepared now. I mean, I can't believe if he's gone because of that. I'll, I'll keep an eye on news and so forth. But if, if he's gone because of that, that's mental. And this is where poli politics come down. Take your COVID-19 jab. Or you will lose or forfeit and all that. A lot of it's politics. But at the end of the day, if you've got a jab and you've been struck with COVID, you've had the jab. So it makes no sense. If you have a jab or two or four or six or ten, don't matter. COVID's going to be with us for a very, very, very long time. Uh, it's just how you can handle it. But, yeah, leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think. I think it's mental, to be perfectly honest. But here's what it is. Leave your comments down below, tell me what you think. And if you're new, subscribe. So I'll do a lot more 49ers news, NFL, the odd NFL news, but I'm more of a 49ers fan. But if I see something on the, the NFL news, I'll keep up. Um, thank you very much for 39 subscribers. Really fortunate, humble, and appreciate that you subscribe. And if you're new, subscribe. Like I said, end of the month, the 30th, 6 p.m. Maybe earlier, a little bit earlier, but notification bell set as a premiere. It's coming out on the 30th, so don't 
don't be late for the uh, the update because it's going to be good, like really, really good, and I'm actually excited. But yeah, um, thank you very much, for, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys um, on the next video.